Hey, what is up guys? This is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the 7th July 2019 build of the Resurrection Remix ROM on this device and let me just show you the about section and by the way I flashed this ROM with the Peter's TWRP recovery and this is encrypted so right now if I want to go back to TWRP recovery I have to enter the screen like unlocking pin and otherwise it, it will show that the storage is encrypted and every folder will be like weird so i have to either format storage or i have to enter my pin the screen unlocking pin to go to the twrp and flash any other roms right now so if you don't know what i'm talking about here is a card for you so you can see the installation procedure from there let me just go to the about phone and show you the android version over here as you can see the Resurrection Remix logo is on top up there and it looks pretty good and here is the Android version, Android version shows as 9 and Resurrection Remix Pi version 7.0.2 and here is the build date and stuff and the official violet ROM it says and over here the security patch is latest one July 5th 2019 and the vendor security patch you can see it from here stock kernel is pixel plus and here is the build number and build date again let me just go back so if you go into system and advanced you will have the system updater over here but for some reason it keeps saying the update check failed let me just show you from up close as you can see it says that it is like it can't check for updates from here but yes the updater is there maybe in future we will have the like official update support but right now it just fails for checking the update even when i'm connected to my wi-fi and wi-fi is working fine and the even mobile data shows the same thing and let's talk about the stock launcher over here well the stock launcher is the launcher launcher over here let me just go into the settings and show you here as you can see we have all the settings of the launcher launcher here we have the gestures and double tap to sleep and stuff everything is there so you can just double tap on the home screen to make the phone like into sleep to the left we have the google now cards and you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel like this and also you have the like widgets and stuff everything is working fine over here and by the way we have the snapdragon camera over here by default normally but when you flash the ANX or the MIUI camera it just goes away so as you can see I have installed the ANX camera over here with TWR recovery and it is kind of working fine but the portrait mode is not working this is kind of the older version I think it's the 122 or something so the portrait mode does not work with this ANX camera version but yeah otherwise everything is fine I'll try to flash the latest build of the ANX camera this is just because of the build I think and you can also install Google cameras of course because camera API is pre-enabled over here and as you can see everything is working even the portrait mode and stuff everything works you just have to change the saturation with the Google camera to make the like image look appealing I'll link this Google camera in the description too if you need it and of course camera to api pre-enabled i just said so you can install any kind of like camera to api needed applications google pay and stuff everything is working right out of the box you do not need to worry and let me just go into the settings for the customizations and here well this is resurrection remix what do you expect this is the most amazing amount of customizations you can get from this rom and like from any rom out there you can like pretty much guess that resurrection remix would have the most amazing customizations and here nothing is different we have a lot of customizations we have the clock customization at first over here you can control like the you can enable the show seconds and am pm style and stuff you can even enable date if you want to and smart clock is there i don't actually know what it does we have the network activity monitor over here and also we have the battery status style as you can see it is set to android q but you can also set it to portrait dotted circle but there is no big dotted circle or something like that but android q option is there and the battery percentage you can set it to next to the icon of course let me just go back we have the notification ticker then system icons here we have the vaulty logo and stuff like that let me just go to the bottom and we have the status bar gestures of course we have the brightness control from the status bar by just swiping and double tap to sleep is there here is the double tap to sleep and did you notice the unlocking speed the fingerprint scanner is blazing fast over here in this rom let me just show you again it is just blazing fast 
as you can see and the brightness control over here is working pretty fine as you can see you can control your whole screen's brightness from here this is a really really good feature and i really use it like when my day to day usage and series bar items we have the headset bluetooth extra icons over here and by the way talking about volti well in the call ui the default call ui we do get the like call recording option and stuff and video calling is working fine too i think and over here we have the like quick setting tile style changing option as you can see we can change it to square kill square middle and stuff i think is there i just change it to something badge too and as you can see it looks a little bit different over here so that is how it is let me just go to the quick setting header you can enable header image or stuff like that and tile layout quick pull down etc is there too so you don't need to worry about anything and you can even change the quick setting toggle animation to flip or rotate so everything is there we have the recent style changing option to pi or audio by default it is pi and as you can see it is like totally fine we have the rounded corners and stuff from the launcher launcher of course and let me just go to the lock screen we have the fingerprint unlock which is the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner but let me tell you this kind of does not work because the storage is encrypted and i have to enter the pin otherwise it just keeps saying phone is starting or something like that it just loads if i like unlock the screen after a reboot with the fingerprint scanner i have to enter the pin once then like everything becomes fine so just saying it works but it kind of doesn't like at the same way and charging info and stuff is there for the like normal charging stuff and let me show you the charging animation over here and here in the lock screen as you can see it shows this kind of charging animation and like the charging info but the like pixel like charging animation does not really work i think it might be added in future and face auto unlock and stuff is there i have flashed this from with micro g apps and face auto unlock is working fine lock screen weather and stuff is there hide status bar in the lock screen is there clock widget and you can change the clock style to android q2 from like the for the lock screen and animation style is there you can change the screen of animation to crt color fade or scale and let me just go to the mask settings here we have the weather and stuff in call vibration framework values and stuff like that is there inside interface we have the normal customizations and here you have the heads up disabling option and we have the fonts option too we have bunch of fonts as you can see over here by default like the font is i think roboto yeah by default the font is roboto and over here we have the misc settings we have disabling wake up on plug vibrate on usb plug etc features three finger screenshot gesture is there so this works fine and blink flashlight over here is there for calling and stuff whenever you receive a call your flashlight will blink like miui so that feature is still there and lower brightness if night light is on is there too i'll show that in the display settings later on and display cutout and stuff is there so yeah we have the system ui tuner too over here go to the right and we have the navigation bar settings we can invert the navigation bar layout as i did and you can even control the portrait height of the navigation bar one handed mode is there pulse is there and you can even change the navigation bar to smart bar or fling so this is really good and we have the normal gestures over here the navigation gestures from where like you can swipe up like this from the sides so that you can go back and stuff and also we have the full screen edge gestures so there are no compromises regarding the like edge gestures and stuff everything is present over here the full screen edge gesture is there and here we have the power dialog and stuff and from here you can enable the advanced reboot over here as you can see and it does work super fine if you tap on restart it will show that if you want to boot to system recovery fast boot or like whatever you want let me go back here again we have the about section let me go to display settings and here you have the style option so you can change the display style to light dark and automatic by wallpaper or time of the day as you would like it to be and accent colors options are there you can set it to black red yellow orange etc colors by default it's pixel blue of course and live display is there you can change the whole color profile of the screen rgb of the screen and i was feeling to be honest the screen was a little bit yellowish so i just like turned down the red and green a little bit and turned up the blue to 100% so that's how it is and picture adjustment is there you can control the hue saturation intensity on contrast of the screen and of course night light is there you can enable this to like make the display yellowish you can even control the intensity of the night light 
let me just go to the bottom we have the double tap to sleep of course again and pocket detection is there and double tap to wake too is there let me just test it quickly so i don't think double tap to wake is actually working i don't know let me just do it again nope it does not really work the double tap to wake is still like kind of buggy and it does not work ambient display is there if you are gonna use it and the battery life i would say is pretty good it's not bad but i would say that i have got better battery life in the past with the resurrection remix rom that's just my feeling and the charging well let me talk about it when i was playing pubg and like after that i connected my like charger it was charging at like 100 mah or something like that so it did like that for almost like 20 minutes then after 20 minutes it went about 1800 mah so yes it took a long time to like charge and stuff so i would say the battery life is a little bit weird and even charging is a little bit weird over here sometimes the phone does get heated up like when you are not even doing anything i don't know why like and it does not happen all the time but sometimes it does heat up a lot and it is kind of like annoying over here i hope resurrection remix fixes this thing like pretty soon with updates and we have the Mi Audio Direct 2 inside sound settings and you can change whatever headphones you have and the sound quality via the headphone jack is pretty good. Well, it's not as good as MIUI of course, but yeah, it is kind of livable. And over here, you can play PUBG at smooth and ultra settings I think. And you can go HD and high over here, but there is no HD and ultra and stuff like that I think. And let me just go Chrome and I will show you the app of speeds and the animations right now. As you can see, the app open ups are pretty fine over here, no issues whatsoever. Let me open Play Store. Now let's open YouTube. Now let's open Instagram. Now let's open all the apps from memory again. Oops. I gotta say, everything is pretty smooth over here, as you can see. Sometimes it's just like firing up the app drawer as you can see everything is pretty fine and the ram management is super fine you do not need to worry about ram management over here even though i have 4gb ram variant of the redmi note 7 pro right here and as you can see this is like super fast no issues whatsoever between app switching and stuff this rom is pretty fast as you can see the ui is pretty smooth and one more good thing over here is that the drm info shows as wideband level l1 so you can play back amazon prime videos or the netflix videos if you have the subscription for it in 1080p so that is really good that even in custom roms we are getting security level one on the redmi note 7 pro so let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this resurrection remix rom video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from carry and tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now